When we compare ourselves with ourselves, we're without understanding. And we have to compare ourselves with God's standard, with His measure. And we realize that, you know, we, we've missed the mark. We've sinned. We've, we've violated God's standard. We, we've gone against His word, His, you know, what He requires. And therefore, we need to repent from our ways. We need to turn to Him. And, uh, you know, repentance, it's not the bad word that uh, it's made out to be. That's a great thing. To, to not continue to look to ourselves and, and be all high-minded and puffed up and proud, but to humble ourselves under God's mighty hand and say, Lord, I'm sorry. You know, when I did this, this, and this, and this, I wasn't just doing this or lying to this person or doing this against that person. The Bible says that when we do that, we're not doing it to, yeah, we do it to others, but ultimately we're doing it to God who gave us life. That's who we have sinned against. Yes, we have sinned against ourselves and our neighbor, but we're, ultimately we have sinned against God. And he just wants us to turn from that so he can forgive us. It's like a checker game. It's like a chess game. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, if God is real, then why don't he just come and just show himself? But if we're playing chess and I make a move, and then you make a move, and then I make another move. If I know what I want to do next, am I allowed to go from here and then here? Am I allowed to make two moves? No, I have to wait my turn. Even if you sit there and think about what you want to do for minutes or hours or days, I have to sit and wait until you move. Even if it takes a really, 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 really long time. And that's a, a lot of how it is with God. If you picture it like a chess game, we sin. What did God do? He moved. He sent Jesus to die for our sins. Now whose turn is it? But God's sitting there. He's he wants to forgive us. He wants to show his love to us. He wants to show his goodness. And he's saying, move, move, move. But he can't move until we make the next move. But when we repent, he forgives us. And just like the Israelites coming out of Egypt, when they went through that Red Sea, Egypt could no longer come after them and try to drag them back. You know, we, we say a sinner's prayer. We give our heart to God. But, you know, as the days go on, the weeks go on, all of a sudden, here comes that old life trying to sneak back in and try to drag us back. But you know what? That's the power in baptism. We repent. God forgives us right then. When we get baptized to, in water to Jesus Christ, He separates us from that sinful nature. And we receive the Holy Spirit. He gives us the power to live this life he's called us to and it all starts with our decision to move on what God has already provided he's already provided everything in his son Jesus Christ and all we have to do is just make that next move and when we make that next move God he's going to be right there to do his part